at your service. Bad life be wild for this one. For this one. Judgment is near, no pressure, huh? Fooling this ways won't depart to the grave, no pressure, huh? All you gon' want is some things that'll fade, no pressure, huh? Six feet beneath it, you just won't be a no pressure, huh? Time running out and the judgment is near, no pressure, huh? Fooling this ways won't depart to the grave, no pressure, huh? All you gon' want is some things that'll fade, no pressure, huh? Six feet beneath it, you just won't be a no pressure, huh? Look. Can't here to bring you the same cause you living like you will not die in it. So lost on this moment, they giving you coke and you real close to trying it. Been pitching you blood, you ignoring my music like hell, you lying it. All you want is more money, the root of your problems, what I got, got supplying it. You rather get tough from a herpes, love out what you find, hell supplying it. Been selling salvation, you dressing real quick, so I guess you're not buying it. We both got a shovel, I'm digging my brain cause my flesh got a lie in it. Can't say you did no Christ when you cracked the sky, you'll say you might die in it. Time running out and the judgment is near. Look, no pressure. Huh. Fooling this way won't depart to the grave. Yeah. All you gonna want is the things that are fade. We're gonna go into this next one. It's called timing of a thing. And what's needed for time, right? Patience. Right? Time gonna do what it wanna do anyway. With or without you. But what's needed for time? Patience. Patience is needed for time. What's needed for patience? Faith. Luke 21, 19 says, um, in your patience possesses ye your souls. Your, you possess your own soul, right? With your measure of patience. With your patience, not measure of patience, just patience, right? Right? So, in your patience possesses your soul, but... What's needed for time? Patience. What's needed for patience? Faith. <sighs> Jesus came to die for your sins. Think about that. Right? Christ came to die for your sins, but had to wait patiently for 33 years before it happened. Like, I might like, at some point in time, you like, you know, if you how could you wait? Don't get me get ahead of myself. But think about it. 33 years. He knew he was going to die from the beginning. <laughs> he knew what he came in for from the beginning. He was 33 years. You have to wait 33 years on your appointed day. Huh? On your appointed day. Matter of fact, you don't even know when your father going to call you to come back. You still waiting on that too, but you know it's coming. That you don't know, right? Christ don't know that, right? It says... But think about it. You can't wait three years for him to put you together in such a way that you won't backslide when he give you what you asked for. I'm going to say it again. Christ waited 33 years, right? Then appeared 40 times, rose, got about that thing. We know it. But we can't wait three years for him to put us together, right? In such a way that we won't backslide when he finally gives you that which your heart desires. Oh, God. Huh. That what you ask for. I ain't talking about you asking for sin. Right? You don't have to ask for sin to ask for the wrong thing that calls you to not have your faith where it is. You ask for something that requires great faith. But you didn't know that it required great faith that what you asked for. Because to you, it was... It was a um, it was a no-brainer. To God, like yeah, goofy, it's a no-brainer. You need more faith. Other than that, you gonna you gonna fail me. <laughs> so it's gonna take me three years to prepare you what you asked for, even though you stop asking for it because of what you're going through, right? Think about it. Let's go to Romans, right? Let's go to Romans chapter eight, and let's slide down to verse twenty-five. 
right? Romans 8, 25. It says, um, but if we hope for that, we see not, right? Then do we with what? Patience. Wait for it. Songs say it will get better by and by, right? That's what the songs say. The songs say it'll get better by and by. The by and by part means weeks and months. <laughs> All right, we don't, we don't like to sum it up like that. The by and back of mean years and years, right? We need our hearts established to wait. Oh, God, this mess is cutting me right now. We need our hearts established to wait. Mm. So that the timing of the thing feels like the expected end we so desire. I remember waiting on something to come. My expectations uh, of what I could do with what I was waiting for didn't change. But my excitement level changed in my, um, just to my hope being deferred so many times that my ex when it finally arrived, I was like, yeah, okay. That was my expected end. But somewhere along the line, I lost my right now faith for something that my hope kept getting deferred on. So when it appeared, it was an expected end. Still did what I had to do. But the thrill was gone. <laughs> the thrill of the thrill of, of my right now faith was gone. Right? Like that, oh, today's the day. That was gone. So what happened? My heart wasn't established to wait. It still came through. But it robbed me of my joy of it coming at the same time. But why? Hope deferred makes the heart sick. What did I do to change the heart sickness? What did I do to fight the heart sickness or did I sit in it? Right? Brother Al at your service. Can't say I ain't though. Right? But we must pray that our hearts be established with the grace of God so that when our expected end is here, it is it is still the shining moment we thought it should be. It is still all that to us. We are still overly joyed and excited because we have not been robbed of our joy. We have not set in a pattern of heart, heart sickness due to the hope being deferred, right? And if we pray, I wanna pray right now with you because it's not just you. Um, this life is about waiting. This life is about patience, right? And this walk is, is about even more. But I want to pray that when your hope is deferred, that you don't stay in heart sickness and you do things to encourage and strengthen your heart so that you're just as excited and just as grateful when God finally delivers you, when God finally reveals what he wants to you to have, when, you, when, you, when your expectations ain't been cut off, you just as excited. All right, so let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, as I come before you, Lord God, and your people, dear God, I ask that you help them, dear Lord God, to not mellow in heart sickness, dear Father God, due to their hope being deferred, Lord God. Lord God, you see those who've been praying and watching and praying and watching, dear Father God, but Lord God, the hope has been deferred, dear Father God, so heart sickness has set in on a few, dear Father God. Lord God, I ask that you encourage their heart with joy, dear Father God. Lord God, renew their faith, dear Lord God, concerning the right now moments that so many of us would enjoy. The right now moments that so many of us would love to take part in, dear Father God. And so many of us start with the right now. Jesus, can, Christ can change. Holy Ghost going to change any day now. But Lord God, due to the heart sickness, dear Father God, we've, we've been robbed of it. So Lord God, I ask that you forgive us, dear Father God, for our unbelief because lack of faith is low-key what caused us to mellow in heart sickness. 
because our hope has been deferred. Lord God, strengthen the deferred heart today. In Jesus' name, amen. Fine too, talking about. <laughs> so, y'all Air Forge, I, you know what? I'm going to drop another video. I'm on one today. I'm excited in the Lord. Like this my oil. Huh? I'm pouring it out. Ain't hey, right. I just need more vessels around this place. But I'm pouring it out. I see you back for another video. Like right underneath this one.